Hi, I'm John Griesbach with Diamond H2O. I'd like to go over with you just the quick decision making of how long to set your float cord for a new holding tank. This seems to be a, a continuous problem for people, uh, just deciding on how long do I need my cord to be. The challenge is, is how big is your RO system? How big is your holding tank? How much water do you use per day? Well, Let's just use an example of a 900 gallon holding tank. Let's say that you use 10,000 gallons per day. Your RO is sized accordingly to keep up with your usage. You're turning the water over in your tank on, you know, almost hourly uh, with that kind of usage. Therefore, you're going to want your float switch to be set short. Now, if there is such a thing as too short. You want your float to be able to move at the end. So, Give yourself enough tether for that to move freely. The shorter the cord, the quicker it's going to turn on, and the shorter the cycle to turn off. Okay, this is nice for the tanks that are uh, sized properly with the RO system for high volume usage. Okay, now let's just say you've got an application where it's very low volume usage. You maybe still have that same 900 gallon tank but maybe your water usage is only 900 gallons per day. In a scenario like this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set your float a little bit longer. The reason that you're going to want to set it longer is you want to make sure that when your RO turns on, that it runs for a sustained period of time. You don't want it turning on and off in a matter of minutes. You want to allow it to run because when it is running, it is also cleaning itself. It's keeping the TDS down. If, you have, if your membranes are working properly and your pump is working properly, you're rejecting those impurities and you want to allow that pump to run rather than start to stop. The other reason for allowing it to run a little bit longer is you want to make sure that you do turn your water over in your tank. You don't want that water to stagnate in the tank depending on what your application is. So if you find that your tank is very large and your usage is very low, you might want to just make sure that you set your float either lower in the tank and maybe not use 100% of the space you have until the volume is needed, or just set your tether longer so it, when it does run, it runs for a longer period of time.